All right, welcome back. Okay, so um, there's been a little bit of effort gone in uh, to preparing ourselves for this video. Um, I've let it run on since the last episode, and um, yeah, well, I'm going to talk you through a few little things before we get cracking. Uh, first thing of note, our uh, cathedral's done. So uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Um, not as impressive as the uh, the main cathedral, but Again, I didn't want anything too fancy up at this end. I just wanted something functional. Uh, colour scheme definitely works. The graveyard, it's already full. It sort of gives you an indication as to how long I've been waiting to uh, to crack on with this particular video. So, yeah, just to let you know what I've been doing. I've uh, flattened, I decided to flatten this area here because it was a little bit bumpy. And, yeah, we could just do with this space being open up so we can plan what we're going to do on this side uh, of the map. Also, a couple of little things. Uh, this was still stone, so I've just um, carried this sort of onyx style colour on. Uh, and I was going to do the same here, but I haven't filled that bit in, so let's do that now. Yeah, so just sort of neatening up. This um, fishing farm, um, I destroyed it and spun it around the other way. I didn't really like how it looked uh, with this house on this side and it gives us a little bit of a grass verge down here as well I mean ideally we've got two grass verges here haven't we? I mean ideally I should have pushed it all up one but yeah the problem was we were having with food were becoming a real big issue so um, yeah as you can see our food is now 145,244 uh, as I was waiting for our guys to sort of clear this space here and that over there any traders that came with food I've just been buying it um, not a huge amount else, it just, it's just taken them ages to clear this space uh, and over here as well so yeah just a few other things um, logs uh, now at 79,000 I raised that to 80,000 and it's pretty much there now uh, we've got a stone quarry so we don't really need this guy anymore and to be honest I'm getting a bit sick of all these trees spreading around the, uh, the map so let's um, let's just destroy that and that and get rid of them. Uh, we did have a, a bout of yellow fever which uh, sort of cooled a lot of our guys which helped a little bit with the food production um, and obviously we've got you know, all, the, all the fishing guys in this section now so I mean this sensor one that's producing well yeah <laughs> nearly 9,000 in the last year um, these ones yeah still a lot I mean, I've got four guys in each of these including that medieval pond and uh, so yeah they've been steadily growing and, and producing more fish uh, which is good still got yet to put the guys in here uh, the reason I've been holding on as mentioned previously is um, we don't have enough houses up here if we look at this particular tool and uh, see where everyone's coming from if it is that why is that not working That's I've got it on pause. Yeah. So, a lot of these fishermen are up here, but then, yeah, it's so longer paths. So, we don't have enough houses basically, so we need to get on with that. Uh, what else did I do uh, while we were waiting? Um, not a huge amount more. Oh, yeah, I added another trader here. This is a specialist trader for food and consumables. And I've added a, just a, an array of different items in here. So we've put, I think I've put 3,000 firewood in here. Reeds, I realised that one of these short, well, two of these short houses down here, we're still producing reeds and we don't really need them for anything. So I've changed those back to sand. Uh, so we've got four sand on this side, four clay on the other. In fact, we were running low of clay and I, I don't managed to grab some from one of these traders. So clay now, um, if I can see it. Yes, yeah, so we've got just under 5,000 clay. Sand is still okay. Uh, 6,000. But you know, in terms of glass, you know, we've got just under 500 glassware, 100 glass. So it's creeping up. Um, yeah, ages ago we got a uh, an infestation in this uh, hemp field, and I never set it back to produce hemp. So I did that as well. Um, just piddly little things, really. That uh, yeah, I've forgotten to do. What else? What else? 
Yeah, can you see how I mentioned about the evergreen and deciduous? These are sort of dying off and don't look good. Um, yeah, I'll turn this guy off on the planting, but it's sort of starting to thin things out. So we might change these dense tree shacks and actually put in um, the standard uh, foresters and maybe even just not have them uh, cutting down, just have them planting to keep it nice green, stop it from spreading over here. So, yeah, I'll probably get to that. Maybe offline, or maybe we'll do it in this episode, I'm not sure. Um, tools, tools are fine at the moment. Um, obviously the, the, the double-layered uh, large smithies that we've upgraded, they're all on steel tools apart from in this top corner up here. Um, he's still on steel tools. This guy, I kept him on Joyce. Uh, to build this but because we're not struggling with tools I'm just going to leave them on creating joy so it's just another uh, item that we could possibly sell uh, what else what else what else there was more stuff oh yeah we got a another infection in our fig field so uh, yeah I'm just having to clear this and in fact it's nearly done so we can reprioritize that and then we can put our figs back in yeah and I have turned off the distilleries and the um, the wineries and the breweries because these fields are obviously they're all full of uh, berries um, strawberries raspberries blackberries blueberries and uh, yeah instead of using them for boost production I've just decided to use them for feed the masses and I've also every crop field we've got creating food I've bumped from one guy in there to three and we've still got 163 laborers so yeah increased all the uh, the workers in here um, not that's about it really I've predominantly just been waiting for our guys to clear those areas and just been buying food any food that's arrived at the, at the docks I've bought so we were getting down to like 55,000 so I've managed to bang it back up get us out of the danger area um, yeah so let's get figs back on the go in here I've put these up to three each as well Figs and uh, our farm account 137 and 137, so we're okay there. Now we've got this church in, and they're still moaning about these two buildings here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, I still think the church looks pretty good there. I think if we develop this, like we mentioned, up to this entranceway here, we'd probably get away with leaving that in. Uh, but you know, we, we shall see. Uh, so yeah, again, these were banging out the iron tools, and that helped us to get back to the two and a half thousand level that uh, that we like. Other than that, yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I don't think there was anything else really that um, that I did. It was just a little bit of tinkering while I was waiting for these areas to clear. So yeah, that's about it really. Let's um, let's get on with building some stuff. Now uh, I was thinking here we don't actually have a we've got sort of storage, but we don't have like a stockpile or something so if we draw a little bit of road uh, let's just make a little square there let's run this up here yeah and um, a little stockpile in I mean we've got a fair few stockpiles around here we've got you know a few over here as well but I just wanted to to get some stuff clear so we can start doing stuff um, let's put a guy in our church our cathedral how many people can you have in here? Up to four, which seems a bit overkill. Let's just leave it at one. We've got a lot of people, but we don't want to use them for no reason. Um, yeah, so what to do now? Well, we said we were going to put another um, little community up here, didn't we? So let's, we could do that first of all. Let's get rid of this. Now, yeah, where this line went up to, that's as far as it would go. So I'm assuming it would be the same with the foresters. So. Bearing that in mind, when we're positioning this, yeah. So we want it to be, I suppose, sort of around there, don't we? And let's get rid of another layer. I just like to keep these in sometimes because it just stops stuff from growing immediately. Um, dun 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 dun. Yeah, foresters. Okay. So I think we'll have the road going this way, towards 
the settlement. And yeah, let's maybe bring this down a bit. Um, yeah, throw that in. Uh, what else? I like to refer to the original one because it's a, a nice design. We have the forester here, hunting cabin. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, let's put another hunting cabin. Go back to red ketchups, get the use of the house. Um, put the house in first, actually, I think. And, yeah, so this is going to go over, but it'll, any creatures, uh, a little deer or anything that uh, wander into his path, I'm sure they'll, they'll cull for us. So. Yep, let's throw that in. I know it's a little bit off, but hey ho. Uh, we don't need a huge amount of things up here. Forester and a hunter. Um, I'm not going to bother with a herbalist. Maybe throw in a gatherer. Because they produce so much food. Um, yeah, let's throw that in. And houses. Let's stick with the uh, town abodes. Stick to what we know, stick to what works. So we can get one. Does that line up? Oh, see, that lines up perfectly. So we can put another house in there and then let's get a, a tiny little barn on the go opposite. Very nice, very nice. Um, road, what are we going to use? Let's, um, let's stick with stone. Because we've got stone on the other side, so. Throw that in there. Um, get rid of this. Don't need that or that. Right. So let's um, let's just pin this up here. If you pin them up, it, it keeps the circle there, so we can sort of see where we want to edge this stuff. And if we maybe extend the uh, stone road. Yeah, let's do it right to the end of the circle, and then we don't have to pin this anymore. We know where uh, the circle ends. So, with that in mind, um, maybe let's go back to our palisade walls. Just want to make sure we've got enough room here. Quick look over at this entrance. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so just one in. Let's throw that down there. Um, so they can get in and out. And yeah, we've got to extend the country really, no reason not to. Four, five, six. Let's flatten. Let's go like two by six. Let's flatten that. And, uh, we'll have to wait until that one gets destroyed. Um, but yeah, it gives us an entrance point. Dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah, so what I want to do is run the canal down here, really. I'll leave a bit of road. Use the onyx type colour. Let's run this right to the edge and down here. Yeah. Um, and then we can continue on with our canals, I suppose, can't we? So, yeah, let's do that on the sixes. Um, in fact, we could put our corner piece in first of all. Let's get it right up to the edge. There. Yeah, let's get that in. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, um, 
now? What do we want? Let's let's bring this down. Because we really only need this entrance for the uh, for this little community here. But I also I want to I want to put maybe a trader in, another trader in, on this section of the canal. So if we continue this along a little bit. Trader. Yeah, let's throw him in there. Uh, a little bit of guesswork, but I think that's right. And yeah, not a corner piece. We're going to use a uh, this type. So we're going to need another filler here, aren't we? Okay, Let's spin that, place that down. So yeah, we've got. Um, in fact, actually, while we're at this stage, let's remove that and put a bridge in. Um, number six bridge. Probably be better to put a bridge <laughs> in front of here, wouldn't it? So let's let's try and make this look right. Let's get rid of these two. And let's place the bridges first. Let's make sure we've got the ones we want. Yeah. Let's put those in and then fits beautifully. Okay, let's throw that in. I'm going to need two filler pieces there. Okay, so we're sort of cooking with gas here on the canal. We're going to have this nice area here that we can uh, maybe put some more uh, glass works in, maybe some brick works, just up for this area. Because they're right, they are quite industrial, aren't they? And then we'll work off where we're going to pull the, um, the bridges. We'll probably put another bridge up here and maybe a couple on this side um, so yeah that's okay now where's the yeah I wouldn't mind marking the the edge here if we still use these canal pieces uh, oh it's disappeared we don't want that let's uh, pin you over here mm, yeah it goes a bit further down with the caldera doesn't it um, caldera's massive Yeah, not too worried about the gatherer so much. So let's. What do we want to do here? Do we want to take that straight across? No, I don't think we do. Let's take one of these pieces, spin it around, and then if we can get nice and close in, and look what we're doing. Even with when it says where it says medieval canal straight, sometimes it just gets in the way. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to line this up correctly. Say what's having to redo it. We'll leave that to get built first of all, then we'll finish that corner off. Um, yeah, okay, so everything's coming along quite nicely. Uh, what else do we want to do? We've put our stockpile in. You know, we could put some houses here. I didn't really want to put uh, stuff too close there to the mansion. Um, yeah, let's uh, kick off the clock. And let's try and prioritize all these trees in this section. 
because as we were doing before, we were uh, running this. Let me get rid of these as well. I've got we were running that palisade wall down as far as we could before it got in the way of this river. So we just sort of continue on with that. Um, just throw them in. Again, this palisade wall is going to give us our usable space within this particular uh, walled off community, as it were. So, it's always a good idea to get it in. And then you can sort of see what you're doing. And sort of plan accordingly. Okay, we're getting close now, aren't we? So, we're going to have to. Uh, I think maybe if we could take the towers, let's put a tower at the end. Get this looking inwards for the windows. And then we can probably throw, leave a bit of room, we can throw an end piece down. If I can see, let's uh, spin this around. Okay, so that's not going to go in yet, because uh, it's overlapping this this piece here that we're trying to flatten. So, uh, that's not a problem, it's not a problem. Um, yeah. Houses, houses, houses is what we want. I wouldn't mind, if we get rid of this square here, it gives us a bit of room. Don't need that one either. Um, yeah, now with these precious mines, you can uh, create rough gemstones as well. And then you have to turn the rough gemstones into specific jewels or precious stones. So let's have a look at that particular menu set. So, what have we got? We've got a jeweler. Got gemsmith. So yeah, I think it's the gemsmith. Um, yeah, cuts the rough gemstones into precious stones. Now we're gonna have to put one down to find out how many of them we actually need. Um, let's just quickly check these traders. Make sure they're not bringing us anything that we we need. We're okay for the time being. Like I say, having pushed up the. Um, oh, here we go. See these emeralds and sapphires. This is what we're gonna try and make. We don't need them yet because we're gonna make them ourselves. Coal and hardwood, no, not just at the moment. Um, let's get back up here. Yeah, we're going to need to put one down and then count and see how many items in the uh, in the drop-down menu there are. So let's um, let's just mark this wall off a little bit with some stone. We'll spin this round. If we can try and keep everything in terms of creating gems and things in this area. You know, we could have our little, our little district. So, yeah, let's go back. Let's throw in a gemsmith, and let's just stick one in this corner. This is going to be like precious row down here, isn't it? So, let's um, tell him to chop, chop, and we can have a look and try and plan have a little bit of a strategy, maybe. Because yeah, we're going to need a jeweler as well, and. Um, yeah, I probably don't want to change these. Uh, sorry about it being jumpy. Yeah, I don't really want to change these from gold or silver. I want to keep those going because we're going to continually be needing um, silver fenix for the port area for these buildings. In fact, we could probably start these off actually. Um, yeah, why not? To it'll take the pressure off them to continue to buy logs up here. But I mean, if we look at this stockpile, loads of logs, loads of lumber. So it's really more just to get rid of these little white spots on top of all the buildings that we've put in. So let's, they're all set to logs. You know, we could set two to logs and two to hardwood. Let's do that. Um, you, no, you two stay on logs. Um, and then you two up here, you go to hardwood. A little bit more expensive, but, uh, oh, actually, no, it's a bit cheaper. 
Is it? No, it's not. It's more expensive. You get less for your fenning, basically. So, and then uh, one, two, three, four. So yeah, there, John. I was just looking here before. These we still haven't turned all of these on. Um, they need lumber open. Uh, well, cloth we're going to use. So let's change that and all these to cloth. Okay. Now, how are we doing? We know we've got loads of lumber, like literally loads. Yeah, twenty-three thousand. Um, and cloth again is the same. I think we've got loads of cloth. Yeah, thirteen thousand. And the cotton is doing okay. These weavers are at it. You know, they're, they're working hard. Um, so yeah, we've pretty much got everything we need. So let's just turn them on. And then when they're all going, if we've still got stuff spare, we can add more people in. But uh, the more furnishings we get, the better because, uh, sorry, hull components we get, the better because they're uh, they're worth a shed load. I think I've put some in, maybe in this one. Hull components, yeah, 125. I think it's the um, most valuable item, especially for the mods I've got in this particular game. I put some ganj in as well. Six is a bit undervalued, I think, in my opinion. But you know, should be at least ten. Hey ho, yeah, and the reeds. Uh, when I turn these off, I um, I just decided to put all the reeds into this particular trader's inventory because uh, we're not using them for anything. So um, let's just check furnace fuel, make sure we're okay. I don't want to be running out of glass or glass. Yeah, we've still got loads of that, and I think sand should be okay as well. Just double check. Yeah, six thousand. So yeah, we can go. Okay, let's get back up to the new. District. Okay, so it's been built. Let's have a little closer look. Let's zoom in. Quite oh, these jade mines as well. Now, why are they working? Um, oh, I bet it's because we've, yeah, we've got the stone cutters, and I think they work the same. So I think we should pause these actually. Otherwise, our um, our stone will start to drop from this particular quarry if it's not fully manned. So let's just make sure this, you know, there's 10 of 10 in there, that's good news. Why have you gone off again? Or did I not put someone in there? We haven't built any more churches or anything, have we? So he has knocked it off, but anyway, well, uh, I'm sure we'll find out. Okay, so let's zoom in, have a look. That's a little model. I'm liking the way all these new models are starting to get um, signs and stuff on the front of them. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got uh, diamonds, emeralds, sapphires, rubies, turquoise, amber. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to need six of these gemsmiths to turn the rough gemstones into all these different types of uh, gem. So let's see how many we can get across here. I think we should more than easily fit six across here, I think. We've got enough space, may as well be generous. So, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just throw them in. I mean, yeah, do we want to be doing them in squares or unusual pattern? I don't think so. I want to try and leave this bit of space for some housing and such. So, and such, I always say that, don't I? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that lines up quite nicely, actually. Right there with this row. So, I mean, we could probably get rid of this uh, this market, really. I don't think there's any need for it. I mean, we've got two up here already. We've got one in there. And we've got no houses around here at the moment. So, yeah, let's... Um, let's say goodbye to that market. The uh, base camp version 2, Mark 2 market can go. Um... I'm going to wait again until all these are built before I start allocating people for them. Yeah. And we need to put something in in here, really. I don't want anything too grandiose. I don't think there's any big houses or anything. But yeah, maybe let's leave that space bare for a second. We may want to do like a, a butcher's quarter here. Because if we're going to do a lot of animals shortly, then uh, yeah, we might need that space for that. 
Yeah, they're taking a sweet time getting all these trees shifted, aren't they? I'm just wondering if it's anything to do with... Um, yeah, if it's anything to do with these buildings that we destroyed. It might also to be do to do with the fact that we've only got 30 builders in the 97 items, so let's bang that up to 97. So when you start putting these palisade walls in it, it takes time. I'm just hoping that the trees in here are gonna are gonna go. Let's um let's keep prioritizing. Because ideally I want to I want to take this along uh, to the road so we can have a bit of a border and then yeah we're gonna have an area here and an area here and I'm thinking we should split those bring the canal down and run it across and, and link it up possibly to this piece here this part of the stream where it's closest so uh, yeah, I mean, we could do that now, really, couldn't we? we could definitely put a few more canal pieces in, uh, running down at the side of the road. Some more stuff for them to get done. So, uh, yeah. Let's throw some in. Yeah, so just extend that a little bit. Like I said, everything's taking a little bit of time. Uh, I'll leave that trader for now. Okay, so this, yeah, this has been done. So if we spin this, we might even be able to get this corner finished. I think we're running a bit low on time, so um, if we can do this, and then um, we'll see where we're at. Yes, yeah, so it's just clipped there. Just my OCD just will not allow it, so. There we go. Quick fix, but done. Loads of traders, a lot of food. I'm not too concerned at the traders at the moment. I'd rather get these canal bits done. Um, yeah, let's use an L shape, I think, here. Yeah. There, let's put this fuller piece in here. And will we get to it? No, we're not going to get two in, are we? One, a bit more filler, just one filler. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so yeah, good, 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 good. We've got a um, little trading post here. Let's give it a bit of rose. What are we going to do here? Stone Road, I think, for this particular island. So let's run that across. Um, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Now we could, we could fit a barn in here. Let's see. Um, Try one of our K's. I do like these these models. It's a bit chunky this one though, isn't it? Let's try one down. Um, let's just spin it around. Um, yeah, why not? Let's throw that in. Just neaten it up, and then we could. Just run that across there and put a little stop pile in in the corner because we only need a little bit of road a two wide road should be enough um, so yeah this is coming along just thinking where we're gonna throw a bridge in should maybe throw a bridge in where the where the road hits shouldn't we do we want to make it a double road um, probably if we're putting a bridge in. So let's, uh, let's run that across there. And uh, yes, well, typical. 
Okay, so it's gonna have to take two pieces out. So we're gonna have to use a bit of filler on each side, which is a little bit disappointing, but not the end of the world. Um, well, while we're here, let's see if we can fit in. Yeah, they flatten that, so we can get rid of that. Dead land there. And maybe some more Palisades wall just to finish off this episode, because we think we have overrun. Spin that round. And hopefully, all being well, it should just yep, fit in nicely. Make sure the windows are in the right position. Now, because we've already chosen where this canal piece is going to go, it might be a bit difficult to get these in. We're either going to get really lucky or not. So, let's see. Let's see if we've got the spaces. Hmm, maybe. Let's, um... Yeah, I won't be too fussed if the tower sort of overlapped there. Yeah. Because we don't really want it to be a point of ingress. We just want it to be, you know, for the canal to go out, so... I think I can live with that, to be honest. Because we've got our entrance here. Um, yeah, let's have a look at these guys, because... We need to put some people in. We're back up to our limit of 80,000 logs as well. We don't really need a forester in here. It's more just to get wood up this this end of the map. Um, hunters, I mean, let's put more in. Loads of people. Same with the galleries. Let's uh, throw another four in there. Foresters, let's put another four in. Let's stop it from cutting. And then let's just get in plants in this area so it hides this ridge and uh, fills all this in. It's another little tip as well actually, if you want to, if you've sort of wiped an area clean and you want to refill it, a typical example would possibly be up here behind our nomads. I mentioned a few episodes ago that I wanted sort of the trees to come straight up to this, this road. You can see there's still a few gaps in that. I mean, easy way to sort it out is to, um, yeah, it's just to get a forester. Bang him in, and uh, maybe a bit further back, you know, bang him in, and uh, just tell him to plant instead of cut, and then once you're done, get rid of him, and then the sort of floor where the, uh, the forest was will just, you know, trees will eventually grow there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we could do the same thing here. We could, it's not that sightly, is it, this, this sort of lump here. We could take it back a forester in it and we've got trees running all the way along then and then if we wanted to keep these trees in just have a bit of greenery at this side of the map then we can but yeah yeah i'm really not liking this i mean it's in winter that's why it's all dark but it just doesn't contrast well with everything else so um yeah let's mark these for destruction these little buildings don't like them they can go and um, we'll replace those probably in the next episode with uh, standard foresters. So I think, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this episode. It's all coming along well. Let's, have a, let's pause it, have a quick spin, have a quick look. Yeah, so we've got, uh, got our little community in this section. I'm going to palisade that off down here. Probably wouldn't run the wall a bit further down. Um, canals come out again. Can't really join it up with this one because it's, as you can see, we're not going to get any ships up here. So, again, maybe something I'll do offline is just to run these canal pieces because it's just me literally going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, to save time in the next video, I might just run this, corner it, and bang it down here. But I'm probably going to have to start at the bottom so I know where I'm, I'm going and run that all the way up there so we can get some uh, traders up to these particular guys. Let's turn this guy off. Knock this down. So yeah, um, cooking with gas. Uh, we haven't had a huge amount done, but uh, we've sort of set up for, for getting stuff done for the next episode. Yeah. I was gonna say final lap, put these in, but I've just noticed that we've extended that stone, so we're gonna have to wait. We'll do that in the next episode, so. Yeah, I shall see you in a bit.